Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Yosemite Mountain Sugar Pine Railroad virtual shop tour number six. We've uh, we've been busy today. Almost 400 passengers out here on the railroad. As you can see, engine number 15 has left the stall, but she'll be back tonight. She's right now taking passengers up in, on the railroad. I uh, wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes and what goes on to keep these locomotives running every day. Um, over here is a work area where all our tools are kept. And you can see there is the steam gauge from engine number 15. It's currently being uh, tested. Up here on the wall, you can see some brake wheels, air hoses. There's a bunch of air valves. Lots of parts. We have fire brick and those two cubbies there. Takes a lot of parts to keep these Shea locomotives working. We have a good inventory. Down below, you can see some pinion gears. There's some more brake rigging. These are for the cars. There's some knuckles for the couplers. Inside these cubby holes, Various rivets of different size. Up on top, more pieces. This is quite interesting here. You can see in front, it's labeled number 10. And then if you look in the back, there's one labeled number 15. And then over the side, you can get a clue on what we're looking at. There's some of those axle bearings, but there's been no Babbitt poured into them. And these are the jigs that we use to pour the Babbitt. Here's various uh, chains and winches and jacks we use for moving our equipment around. And a variety of hand tools. There's some four jacks. And then along this wall, a huge collection of nuts and bolts, washers, screws, got some chains down over here. Here's some stay bolts. Everything that we need to keep these locomotives running. Just a couple batteries from the rail car. Lots of pipe fittings, and then larger ones. Wanted to highlight these two specimens right here. Uh, these are brake shoes. Before on the right, after on the left. Uh, at one time, these brake shoes were exactly the same, but the one on the left has been worn. This brake shoe, you can see right here, it's stamped YMSP 112. We had these cast. This brake shoe right now weighs between 50 and 60 pounds. It's not all cast iron. It's got some chrome and some other alloy in there. Ideas that uh, when you apply the brakes, it's going to wear down. And eventually it wears down to this level. You can see how the flange has actually cut a hole in it. <clears throat> this is how we know the brake shoe is going to need replacing soon. Also, this area right here where the YMSP is, that's actually lower and closer to the wheel. That will also grind completely away when it's ready to be replaced. Oh, when they come off like this, they weigh less than 10 pounds. All the meat is gone. From brand new to used, about four weeks. And those are all replaced by hand on the locomotives. However, a few years ago, we were led on to some new technology. And you can see engine number 10 has a composite brake shoe these are the same kinds of brake shoes that our Class 1 railroads use today. It's on the locomotive now. That brake shoe was changed 
two years ago and it weighs about seven pounds and it works great. Think of all the savings and time of getting that uh, brake shoe on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour this week. Take a little bit, look around our shop and uh, look forward to seeing you next week.